Okay, this video is going to show you how to enter foods into your diary. So to start off, we're going to go to the bottom of your screen, tap on where it says diary. We're then going to scroll to the bottom to a fresh meal. So for me, it's meal number six. I'm going to tap on where it says add food. There's a couple of ways of entering foods. We're going to start off by using the search bar. One thing you need to know when using the search bar is that my fitness pal, uh, anybody can enter foods into the database. So when searching for foods, you want to try and use the foods that have a green tick next to them. The green tick means that it's been verified by my fitness pal, and we know that the calories and macros for that food item are definitely correct. So for example, we could search for a bagel. So you can see the top one, New York bagel, it's got the green tick next to it. Then we know that that food item is correct. We know the calories are correct and we know the macros is correct. So you can tap on there. You can then adjust the serving size. So if you go to serving size and tap on one bagel, it's some, it will give you different options. <clears throat> you can tap on number of servings. So for example, if you're just having half of a bagel, you would put 0.5. Press the tick, and then when you go to the top right hand corner of the screen and press the tick, that food will then be entered into your diary. Now there's another way of adding foods, so we'll go back in and tap on where it says add food, and we can use the barcode scanner. So if you go to the top of the screen and over to the right hand side, you'll see a little barcode, barcode symbol. Tap on the barcode symbol, then you literally Find the barcode on your item of food, and my fitness pal will automatically scan that in for you. You can then change the number of servings or the serving size, same as we did with the bagel. So if you was just gonna have half a pack of the rice, you would tap 0.5, hit the tick, hit the tick in the top right hand corner, then foods have then been entered into your diary. You can go back into the foods and tap on them and adjust them if you like, once they've been entered, and that's all done.